I saved this house for last today because I knew it was going to be beautiful. Yes, this is a mobile home, a manufactured home. This is the McGarity, okay? The McGarity, remember the name. I'm gonna say it over and over again, I can already tell. Look at this beautiful home, you guys. The McGarity. We're not even gonna talk a lot. Let's go on in and see this house. It's a four bedroom, two bath. It's 2,465 square feet. It's a Cavalier home, 48 by 76. Look at the porch on this house, you guys. It has a wraparound porch. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't even know what door to go in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this porch. So that's one side, okay? And then that's the other side. Beautiful. I believe this is the front door. I love the wood shutters on here. Love this house already. I haven't even opened the door. I haven't been in here yet, you guys. I'm in love with this house. I already know it. I already... Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So coming into this home, this is the entry, okay? So let's shut the door so you can appreciate the entryway. So that is the door that I walked into. You got these two huge windows there. All of this space is your entry. You could totally put a bench in front of that window so when people come in, they can sit down and take their shoes and their coat off. And then they got this coat closet right here that they, they, they can hang their things up, put their purse in there, their shoes, what have you. So this is the entry, all right? You got your entry there. Okay. Love it. So now, you come into the house, let's take in the view before we start exploring. Okay, so this is what you see. Now to the left here, this is the living room. You've got this window on one side of this real fireplace, and then you've got a back door. I love the, be the beams and I love that chandelier. That light fixture is beautiful. Love it. You got a lot of space in this house too, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Like I said, this is a real fireplace and you can sit on this mantle. I love a mantle that's not too low. You can put decor on it, but that's extra seating for, for company, right? People can sit there you can put probably a 65 or a 75 inch TV up there, maybe a 70, maybe 75 might be too big. This is the view from the back door and what you see. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love it. All right, to the right of the front door is the dining room. Now this is a room kind of sort of to itself. See that? Love that light fixture, you guys. Love all the windows in this room. You got four windows in this dining room. You can walk into the dining room from the front door or the living room as well as out the other side into the kitchen. I'm going to step back and let you appreciate how big that opening is. So really nice. So this is your dining room. Huge, huge, huge dining room. Lots of space in here. You can put tables in here like a, a buffet table as well as your big dining room table. I'm sure you could seat 10 people in this dining room easily. You can put the table this way or you can put it this way. Easily. Really nice. Now, 
Back to the front door. Again, that's your living room, kitchen, and dining room. So let's go explore the kitchen. Look at all the storage space you got. Storage space, storage space, storage space, okay? Two big picture windows over the sink. Love the backsplash. That subway tile backsplash is so pretty. This is um, the McGarity by Cavalier Homes. This is actually my first Cavalier home. I haven't toured Cavalier Homes before. I'm a little disappointed in the size of the island, but this kitchen is not as big as um, others, so I get the island. I totally get it. It's the features for me. Love it. You can hang your pots and pans from up there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is glass subway tile. Just so pretty. You got outlets all along the walls for your appliances. Stainless steel. Uh, refrigerator, dishwasher, and stove in here. As well as your sink. Really nice. Beautiful farmhouse. Love it. Farmhouse may not be your thing. Can you imagine this house without the farmhouse touches? Because you really could make it uh, modern, contemporary, whatever you like. You don't have to have the beans in the ceiling. You don't have to have the pot rack in the ceiling. You don't have to have the uh, woodwork on the island. You can order this house however you like it. If you like the bones of this house, it could be whatever you want it to be. This is a beautiful home. Beautiful home. There is your side door that leads out onto the wraparound porch. Really lovely. Here is your utility room. So there's the back door. Your washer and dryer go there. You got space for a mud room right here. You can either buy one or you can make one like here. They, there's a bench there. And there's some hooks on the wall total mud room for you. You got space in here for a washer and dryer. You've got a uh, pantry space in this room. Look at there. You can either put pantry space. And honestly, you have so much storage over here that this could be like detergents and uh, toilet paper and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be like additional pantry space. Look at this huge sink in the utility room. You could wash some stuff in there, baby. You could do some damage in that sink. You hear me? Look how big this room is, you guys. So nice. Love this utility room. Love it. Back through the kitchen. Now the bedrooms are on the other side of the house. So keep that in mind. You don't have a separation um, per se is like some the guest bedrooms on one side and the master on the other they're all on the same side of the house but it's interesting the way they did it because they still created a separation so let's go this way okay so that is the front door just to give you an idea of where we are that's the front door and then right here you have this hallway so before we go around the corner you got this closet here that serves as another coat closet. It can also be for storage. Remember, you have a coat closet at the front door. So you have another closet here, and then you have, you turn the corner. Now that's the living room, okay? But then down here, you have hallways. So let's see what we have. So this first room to the left is a bathroom. You got double sinks here. Huge mirror. Love it. All right. You got a closet in this bathroom, like a linen closet. And then you've got a door that separates you where you've got a tub and shower. And then behind the door, you have a toilet. I won't go in there because it's dark and I don't think they... Yes, I will, because I'm nosy like that. They don't have a light set up. So, it's just a toilet on the right side 
and tub and shower on the left side. And that door actually, uh, you can come through that door and either go into the living room or the master bedroom, but we won't go that way. We'll come back out this way. All right, love the little hallway here. So that's the guest bedroom. I'm so confused. Okay, that's the guest bedroom. So I don't know what that room is over there. Maybe that's the office because the master's over here. So your guest bedroom is here. And then across from the bathroom, and then across from the guest bathroom, you have two rooms. So right here is guest bathroom number one. Love how long the windows are and there are trace uh, transom windows above them. So two right there with two transom windows and one right there with a transom window. Really nice. You got a walk-in closet in here. Really nice. So this is guest bedroom number one. Beautiful. Then you got guest bedroom number two. Looks to be about the same size. This is guest bedroom number two. Lots of light, you guys. Same thing. The double windows there have transom windows above. You got your closet. The only thing is with this one, that's a single window. It doesn't have a transom window like the other one. But it still has a lot of light in here. Look, so much light. So you got your two bedrooms here. And then here, you have your master. Okay, so you got your master bedroom here. Love it. That's a queen, but you could totally do a king and be okay. And you've got plenty of room for your furniture in here as well. You can put chest of drawers over there and you see you got a dresser there. Or you can put a chest of drawers here, your dresser there and a TV on that wall or wherever you like it. All right, before we go in the master bath, I'll give another pan around. Super cute. All right, now, this is the master bath. Coming in to the left, you got this huge window, frosted glass, and this huge soaker tub. Really cute. Look at the huge shower over there, you guys. Love it. Rain shower, shower head. You got double sinks there. You got your toilet room there. This storage is built into the wall. Really nice. Really nice. And then this is your master closet. So you got a transom window in the master closet. Not as big as I thought it would be, but this is enough for somebody. This would be good for me. Um, not sure about me and my husband, only because it would probably be bigger than this for him to even be comfortable sharing the space. We probably could because I've downsized a lot. So nice master closet, not the biggest, but it's a really nice closet. So now I'm curious to know what that other room is because I thought the other room was the master. So we're going to go back down this hall, go through the living room, and then there's this door over here, okay? So let's see what this is. Maybe it's an office. Oh, it comes with an office, you got. Oh, no, it's got a closet in here. So this is a fourth bedroom. Okay. It could be a great in-law suite because it's separate. It's separate. Okay. This would be my office though. Because it's off to itself. My husband would probably take this for a man cave. Honestly. But this is a fourth bedroom. 
And there's access to this bathroom from this side. Really nice. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour. This home is beautiful. This is the McGarity by Cavalier Homes. See you in the next video.